Good evening, guys. I just wanted to come here on here briefly and tell you what God said to me last night. Um, if you've seen my video yesterday, you would know um, uh, I was watching a sermon yesterday that changed my life. And thank you to uh, my auntie for her wonderful comment. I love you, Auntie Roma. Um, um, yeah, and I just wanted to, to, um, tell you what God told me. God loves you just because you are. And that's it. God loves you just because you're here. Um, Jeremiah, um, in Jeremiah, I think it said, um, he formed you in your mother's womb. He formed you with every, every aspect of your, of your personality, every aspect of yourself, he formed you. He knew what he was getting when he made you. All this whole thing of false perfection is such a destructive, detrimental thing for people. There is no such thing as perfection. There's only flawed people and we need to learn to embrace who we are and the stuff that um, God really wants to remove from our lives, our lives. He'll, he'll remove them gently. When you come to know Christ, um, and really submit yourself to him, you, you, um, it's just, and really submit yourself to him, your whole life changes. And whatever you need, whatever he needs to remove from you, he'll do it, but he'll do it gently. He'll do it lovingly. He'll do it when you're ready. You don't have to somehow make yourself per perfect. He'll make you perfect day by day. And I'm not saying that everything will be easy. It will be difficult at times. It will be it will be a test at times, but it, knowing Jesus and loving Jesus is, is well worth it. And, and um, we live in a society in the Western world where we're always trying to achieve this and that, and we always want more, 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 more. And that quest for more, I believe, is destroying us. Not that we need to, not that we shouldn't have ambitions and want, want better for ourselves and try and better ourselves. I'm all for that. But it's when the quest for more um, overtakes who you are and you are defined by this quest for more, that's when it becomes a problem. Um, I think that you, and God wants me to tell you that he loves you. And we often hear that, oh yes, Jesus loves me. We sing it in church, we say yes, Jesus loves me. And we we think, oh yeah, he loves the whole world. But no, beloved, he loves you. Like if I were to say, he loves Rachel Esdale. 
everything about me he loves everything about you he loves and the things that you that he's going to work on in you he's going to do it lovingly at his own pace his own space in his own time if you just submit and avail yourself to his will and it won't be easy but the thing about God is he knows what's best for you beloved and he will never stare you wrong and I think we're so afraid to give up control but the funny thing is we don't have control anyway he does but we're just afraid to um, give up control because we like to know what happens and the Lord is saying give me control of your life today give me control of your being today I know where I want you he's saying stop fight fighting me he's saying I love you just um the fact that you are just the fact that you are living that's the only basis of why he loves you just the fact that you are here he loves you he doesn't love you because you can sing he doesn't love you because you can preach he doesn't love you because you do business he doesn't love you because you're a good mom he loves you just because you are. He loves you just because you're living. And sometimes his love can manifest in different ways. But to get a real understanding of the love of God, I love to go to uh, what is called the love uh, chapter. 1 Corinthians 13 and all those love attributes before they apply to a person they apply to God and if you take that that's the way he loves you he's not jealous of you he doesn't mean you harm he doesn't mean you wrong he's not out to punish you with his with his gavel from the heavens he wants he god sees the life he means for you to have and every as every part that he's taking you through every trial is meant to take you to that ultimate life that god wants you to have um, when I look at Genesis and when I look at the um, the way that God created this beautiful earth and the way he walked with Adam in the cool of the day and the way it once was I believe this is only my position that he's been working ever since Eve took the fruit ever since everything he's been wor working to get us back to that same state so he wants that same state with you and because he died on the cross not only freedom from your sin is available but that state that ultimate life is available and I don't believe it's just for heaven I believe the ultimate life I believe you can live a, a God fulfilling life now and, and I'm not saying that that life will will be without trouble it will have its challenges but you'll you'll have God and the people he puts around you uh, to help you through and guide you through the ultimate life is not a life without challenges it's a life 
that when you do have challenges, you know that those challenges are teaching you something. Every, every time something comes into my life now that I don't understand, I'm like, Lord, what is this here to teach you? Here to teach me. Every challenge is meant to teach you something. Every challenge is meant to build your faith. Not only your faith, but I've talked about this before. It's meant to build spiritual muscle. If you, if you don't have resistance, you cannot build muscle. Resistance is the thing that builds muscle. If things are easy peasy all the time, you won't build muscle. And the Lord wants you to build muscle because you know He knows what's coming for you down the road. He knows um, what what He has in store for you. So all you're building up now, it's to use in the future. The reason you are having trouble in your marriage now is to help people with marriages in the future. The reason you're struggling with your sex drive and being single now is to develop that single program in the future um, to let other people know how you dealt with it. Every challenge for you is is not is not really for you. It's to help other people down the road. Because as I said before, when I was uh, stuck with the lift in the air, I said, Lord, why when I begged you for this not to happen? He said, what, he said to me what he said to Donnie McClurkin when Donnie McClurkin was crying out about his molestation and whatever. He said to both of us, he said, Somebody has to go to the cross. Somebody has to be uh, the sacrifice. And he won't. The sacrifice is not for nothing. Because um, what the sacrifice is for is to free other people. And to better your life. So I know it's hard, but keep on going, keep on going, don't give up and understand that God loves you because you are. God loves you because you exist. Um, we're told in this society that we have to have more, be better, this and that. And you, you don't get rewards for just being. You get rewards for just be, for doing. Even in school, you get a reward for just, for being the best at math, for being the best at science. Uh, in my case, being the best at parenting and many other awards. And that's cool. But unlike human economy where you have to just be the best for something. God saying you're the best just because you are. And whatever gifts or talents add to that. But take away all those gifts and talents. You still are a person that he loves. God loves you just because you are full stop. You don't have to be anything else for God to love you. And that's what he wants me to say. He loves you just because you are. Receive his love. Don't fight it, beloved. Uh, thank you. And it's so funny. Um, a, few, a few years ago, I think I did something 
on this on this years ago. The, the Lord, um, I like music, so the Lord began to sing uh, this to me. It's by Bruno Mars, just the way you are, and he sang. When I see your face, there's that thing that I will change because you're amazing just the way you are. And when you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while because you're amazing. Just the way you are. So guys, I'll see you later. Bye. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I will change because you're amazing just the way you are. And when you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while because you're amazing. Just the way you are. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good night.